He turned my life upside down. He put the last touches in you. Teaching us, preparing us for the theater. I still know how to do South Baskandana because of Prakash. He was also studying from us something. You have to know what you've done yesterday. He was so curious about everything. Come back and build it more. He told to us we're all different, we have different type of bodies. Everything was possible with him. I realized every day more and more how important he was. We learned how to be a male dancer. Absolutely agree. Yeah. Alexander Alexandrovich Prakash, yes. Mm -hmm. The way you speak, the way you walk, the way you look. I actually don't know. Actually, I'm, I'm guessing. Where did you, you finish Munich school? Yes, that's right. Yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking. How, where did you come across Prokofiev? Because, uh, I don't know, we were in academy. Mm. So, uh, where you, are you started, where you, I, your classes were first, where you started before? Uh, before München. Yeah. I was in Ukraine, Donetsk. I was yeah. born there and I was going to the school there, to Vadim Pisarev school. I see, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then I went to competition in Kiev and Prokofiev was there, so he I saw see. me and he invited me to the school. I see, okay. Yeah. So how many years you were there in Munich? Only two, unfortunately. Okay, all right. Yeah. So it's actually the Al San San, she put the last touches in you, yes? So that kind of, for, for us, he was, uh, well, four years we were with him. Mm. He went, uh, I think maybe a couple times went away. I think maybe like uh, Argentina or somewhere mm. to, not for the short period. And uh, I don't know if you heard this name, Zhenya Prokofiev, or Prokofiev, Polyakov. You mm. ever heard this name? He was assistant of Rudolf, Zhenya mm -mm. Polyakov, and uh, uh, another principal dancer in uh, Bolshoi Ballet. Mm -hmm. They came instead of him, and we were like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Who okay. is these people? We don't know. Are, there's a Prokofiev. We're waiting for Prokofiev. Why we need this? We could do it ourselves. <laughs> we already grown. We know what to do. For me, I don't know how you counted. For me, it was the really lucky to have a Prokofiev. Ah, same to me. Yeah. Same to me. He was the really, he turned my life upside down. Yeah. Really. Absolutely. So put you on the legs rather than... But really, <laughs> he, he pressed the right button, you know? <laughs> yeah. But I think for us, because it's uh, in academy, mm -hmm. we, we were absolutely gobsmacked when we knew Prokofiev will be taking us. Mm. And it was uh, the, the luckiest moment of, for us. Because uh, there is, of course, there's uh, others, but knowing that Prokofiev is always gives the you know, students out of his classes become something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, are, we were very happy about it. Mm. No, he, he, he was great. And actually he was uh, uh, telling us a lot about you. Yeah? Yes, oh, okay. of course. About all his students. And he, we were just like listening to him every day. Like he, was, he had some story to explain to us. And it was like, uh, also he was telling about uh, Andres, about this tape of the improvement, you know mm. this one? No, no, no. No, no. because um, he was telling to Andres uh, that he will never be do, do principal roles um, as a prince in Swan Lake or, or that or that. And he said like, no, you will not do that, definitely. So you can forget it. And then Andres, he was working, he was hard worker. So he was working, working a lot and he achieved everything. So he danced those roles. And then he made this uh, tape, he recorded and he wrote like with the, um, with the pen, Provement. <laughs> so I did it, you know, and he was showing us this. It was amazing. <laughs> I remember there was uh, uh, each uh, four year or two years uh, Prokofiev was taking the he was, uh, say, gap between the two cl classes, two mm -hmm. years. So he would uh, take it, say, I don't know if you, Dula Harangoza. Mm -hmm. you know, do, do you know? He was Dula. my director. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So Dula was one class. Next, next class was already us mm -hmm. after two years. Okay. So then it was uh, Andres. Mm -hmm. And then it, so it's each two years that he had the classes. So, uh, that's why we almost know each other. Yes? Yeah. Everybody knows each other in the, in the Prokofiev classes because we were looking at them, they were looking at us, they were like, uh, they are guardians of us. <laughs> 
the general thing I remember from uh, Prokofiev classes is, uh, is that uh, we learned a lot. We learned uh, how, to, how to be a male dancer. Absolutely agree. Yeah. <coughs> Absolutely. So it's, uh, everything, is, uh, everything was possible with him. True. That's incredible. Whatever, whatever situation, I remember the first time I was trying Sot Baskan mm -hmm. I still know how to do Sot Baskan yes. because of Prokofiev. Yes. And yes. knowing, understanding, feeling the body, controlling, everything is uh, under control because of Prokofiev. True, true. You know I agree. What the body does, what the legs do, what is it? Yes. I mean, it's not uh, anymore. I would not say there is in uh, Bali schools so many teachers like this. There mm. is a teachers who not really explaining precisely what kind of muscles are doing the job. Yes, yes, yes. What's kind of big muscles doing the job. <laughs> <laughs> so true. It's strange. True, yeah. true. But what he did, like what, what uh, was for me, like I've never seen something like that. He was, he, he told to us like, uh, we're all different, we have different type of bodies, you know, like uh, different height and, and everything is different. And for example, I cannot dance like you can dance, for example, you know, it's not possible. But what I, what I think is wrong, like a lot of people, they, they teaching everyone to be the same, like yeah. same things, you know, which is, not totally correct, I think, because like uh, for each of us, for each dancer, we have special certain way of uh, of work, of rehearsal, and yes, and he was like, he was taking us, and he said like, guys, listen, I want to teach you already now in school to work by yourself, you know. Yeah, okay. So you don't need all. I mean, of course, you need some teacher looking at you, giving you uh, corrections and everything, but he was teaching us, preparing us for the theater so we can work on ourselves, you know. Yeah, right. So how to put the, the line, how to make the pose, you know, this so, was so important. He said like, guys, just hide all your minuses, show your pluses, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I was, it was excellent. I, I wonder if it's uh, in the Munich, because I, I don't know, I've never seen his classes in the Munich. How he built his classes, how is uh, class was placed because in Moscow Academy mm -hmm. we if I'm a teacher I'm looking at the dancers the best would be right in the middle of the bar and then the rest it goes uh, spreading around I was standing eventually I was standing next to that uh, the best one and mm -hmm. then was Fadejev on the other side mm -hmm. so the others uh, the uh, same yeah yes absolutely I, th I think it's a I think it's a <clears throat> at some point it's a good idea on other hand uh, I don't know. I think you need to be really what you were saying. I think you need to be the the greatest or born to be a teacher because uh, yeah, for me it's like being born to be a choreographer. I think mm. to be born as a teacher to see actually individual things mm -hmm. because you do see, of course, we are with our experience, mm. we do see what could be done. But uh, it's very difficult to understand that individual point. Absolutely. So, I don't know, it's, uh, uh, I would say, I don't know, are you teaching classes yourself? Yes, Yeah. So I, do. I think, uh, I wouldn't say uh, I'm teaching like Prokofiev teaching, but something is there. Absolutely. Us, yeah? And it shouldn't be the same. And anyways, <coughs> like you can take something, but you, you add something from yours. Mm. So I think it's right. But the main thing, I remember when I just arrived to the school, was 2004. And it was horrible. Like when I just arrived, I lost my uh, my suitcase. I had nothing, so I came from Donetsk. And then, um, okay, like guys, uh, the students, they they helped me. Like someone gave me shoes, someone gave me shorts, someone gave me t-shirt, something like. So they put me, they prepare me for the class. Yeah. And we had a huge studio inside, and I was just stretching my Achilles, and I didn't hear when he came inside. I didn't hear, and everybody, they were like already staying, facing to him, you know, and I didn't know, and I'm staying like stretching. And then he started to scream, never stay with the back to me. And I was like, I turned, I didn't know he's there. And he's like, what do you think about yourself? And I'm like, I, 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 sorry, I didn't know you are here. And he's like, never do this like this. And I was like, sorry, sorry. And I was like, oh my God, this is first day. Like what's going to be after? Now the first, Three months was very hard with him, and then it was it was so good. But most of the time he was talking Russian in the class, yes. Or 
German. Oh, oh. Russian, German. <coughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Mixed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. But even like uh, guys from other countries, we had international class, a lot of different um, countries, but uh, they start to understand Russian already. <laughs> but actually, I know uh, is so many is well, the dancers and girls who studied with Russians. That's how they learn Russian language because mm. the teachers were telling them everything in yeah. Russian, so yeah. they have to pick up somehow. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, of course, we talked only Russian with uh, mm. Alexander Sanch. For me, it was always uh, how to say he he kept us on. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's why is the first year, first meeting with him put you straight away on. Uh, on the Down. legs, yes. Yeah. Lower so, than the floor, definitely. <laughs> and that's what I think uh, he did with us as well. Even knowing who we are, mm -hmm. he still managed to squeeze out of us character. Mm -hmm. The squeeze it, that the fight. Like uh, he will put us a little bit down and we would say, no, i show you I'm better than I'm than sure you it's think. like this, yeah, definitely. Exactly. And it's uh, very interesting that those who get that way mm -hmm. actually survived. They mm -hmm. went further and they pushed themselves harder. Those who didn't, they now... Yeah, I agree with you, you totally. Know, they're not uh, with us or they're not uh, in the ballet world anymore. So. That's right. I think this was his strategy, like to check out how uh, the way you are, like your personality and mm -hmm. to understand, you know. So it was on purpose. But really, she, she was at some point, like, first three months was so, so bad. And mm. I didn't know why when I, I was coming, doing my, my job, doing everything. But it was, I could not understand. I was like, okay, just let's go. Let's, let's continue work. And then and then some point was fine. Everything I was like, what happened? <laughs> it was fine. But it's, yeah. I, I understood it later. Late in your career, before Sansanj gone, uh, do you came back to Munich or you seen him after? I came to um, to say goodbye last time. Ah, okay. Yes, but I couldn't go to, to Moscow, but I went um, to no, Munich. What I'm talking before he is gone. Yeah. Did you after you finished school, did you come back to Munich to see him, talk to him or you didn't have that? Uh, not really. I think once I've been, but that's it. Yeah. Because for me as well, uh, my experience with uh, Prokofiev is uh, once we finished, even though I knew he was, uh, he wanted us to go to Bolshoi, but the rules are rules. Mm. The Moscovites go to Bolshoi, the mm. rest of it, it's not. So uh, he came to see my performance of, uh, we did a kind of a gala and I did the Carnival in Linus, mm -hmm. my first year mm -hmm. in Moscow Classical Ballet. So he came and he demolished me. I mean, literally, so what you do? I mean, literally put me down. And I was really so upset. I was really upset inside because I thought I'm doing absolutely great. Mm. You know, I thought I'm the already star of everything. So that's where it's one point where he put me down and it's actually made me even more wanted yeah. to show and yeah. prove my country, yeah. prove that I can do this and I will be even better. Yeah. And then, Afterwards, actually, that's why I ask, because my experience, after I joined Royal Ballet, I joined when I was 30. And around 37, I understood the, we did the Bayader Royal Ballet, my first ballet, kind of with Royal Ballet. And then it came time, we repeat. So I understood, actually, my wife said, uh, you should probably, we should go and see Prokofiev to bring yourself back, mm -hmm. to restore you <laughs> yeah. with the whip. So we went, we, I talked to Prokofiev and we went to Munich. Mm -hmm. I worked with him like 10 days. And so he brought me back. We had a good time, of course, after classes, we had a very good time mm -hmm. with the dinners and all that talking. Um, but uh, he brought me back, really mm -hmm. to put me back in shape. and. And that's the, what I wanted to, yeah, so yeah. let's work together. That's why I'm asking you. Because it's actually, I don't know if you agree with me or not. San San, she's a teacher. He could work with the company, mm -hmm. but I think he, most of it, and the best his achievements, it's mm -hmm. a school where he actually the build the man, build the dancer. I agree. Because when you're in a company, you just uh, spread your wings and uh, 
having that that base of yes, school yes, yes. to understand the the world. Yeah, you know? I think so. The same. Yeah, he had like uh, he was like exactly he was like step by step building us up, and I think he did good, and he had a lot of time for us, you know, so it's we could have really proper training class, he could explain everything, why and what and how. And he was so picky about everything, about your haircut, about what you're wearing, about how you're staying. He was, yes, by the way, I need to put my shoulders down. So. <laughs> he was telling me all the time, like, put your shoulders down. So I'm like, and like uh, once he, we went to, um, how you call it? To haircut master, I don't know. You know, like Andres, he's blonde. So he did this, the same to me. So he was also very blonde. Uh, <laughs> actually, I did Moscow competition like this. Oh, yeah? Yes, I 2005 I did. There is some videos. It was like, I prefer my, my color. But it's not about that. It's just I wanted to say he was like taking care of everything. Yeah, so like to put um, all picture together, you know. So it's yeah. not only dancing. So it's the way you speak, the way you walk, the way you look, the way even you smoke the cigarette. He was saying, you know, like, don't, don't smoke cigarettes just like this, you know. <laughs> Even if you smoke, then smoke, don't do, do it beautiful, you know. He was really like this, and I was like, wow, okay, and this is actually true, you know, like, and if you're an artist, you, you cannot just, like, walk like that on the street, you know, like, it's, it's there, and you should keep it going <laughs> like that. That's okay. <laughs> no, it was... Yeah, I don't know if you heard the name uh, Renat Gizatulin. Do you heard Yes, He's heard... in Amsterdam. Okay. And what it's uh, strange that if you would ask me what kind of phrases uh, Prokofiev used in the class to put us down or mm -hmm. make a joke or sarcastic joke about yeah. it, and he would remember. I do not remember at all. <laughs> For me, it was like <laughs> being in the class, just like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a horse going f through. Mm. And uh, Renat remembers that uh, sometimes when uh, we, particularly in a uh, uh, variation class, uh, when it's something is not working or something didn't work, you use the swearing word. And Prokofiev would always say, that's what Renat Don't said. remember your ex-girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> use it in other place. Don't <laughs> use it in the studio. There is other places for this. So it's very funny how, how he is... Uh, approach to that, uh, even though he can use it himself as well, of course. Yeah. It's uh, uh, really to, it's as well, not just, again, building us as a man, male dancers, but as well building us as, as a characters for the life as well, yes? True, absolutely. It's, so it's... Uh, yeah, he was the teacher not only for dancing, for the life, yeah. actually. Mm. And he really, I, I'm so thankful to him. It's amazing what he did to me. Once, it was first year, and he took all boys together in the studio, and he mm -hmm. said like, okay guys, he brought the TV inside, and he was putting um, different videos, and I just came like from Ukraine, I was 16, and I didn't know anything actually about Bali, so I had wrong um, understanding of dance, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I, he, sh he was showing us some videos, and then he, he put a um, uh, Sleeping Beauty monologue from uh, Nureyev with Manuel Legri. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, and then he's like, okay, guys, have a look. Here's the video, and we're like sitting watching, and this is like, I don't know, like eight minutes or something, so long and so many things, and we were like sitting watching, and after in the end, and he, he asked me, I don't know why, and he's like, Dennis, what do you think about it? And I'm, you know, like, and I'm like, yes, it's very nice. And, and he's like, really, it's very nice. And I said, but yes, yes, it's good. And he's like, uh, but what do you think about? Tell me more. And I'm like, yeah, there is not so many like jumps and periods because I had no idea about Bali. So, and I was like, yeah, maybe it's okay. And he's like, oh, really? And I'm like, yes. And he's like, oh, if you think that way, you know, then we will rehearse it with you. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, okay. You know, and when we started to do that, on second part, I died. My calves, they were like, I don't know, like here on my thighs. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. And she's coming to me and she's like, you said it's okay. It's no, no, no problem. And I, I just realized how, how wrong I was, you know, and it's really, it's, he changed everything. So I had wrong um, idea about dancing and things. And now I'm, 
after Manuel he became my director and uh, we had a lot of Nureyev stuff and I really realized that uh, it's so difficult and it's absolutely diff uh, different technique yeah, absolutely. and everything is different and how hard is that and and I understood once for my life that <laughs> that he did really good thing to me. Is Parkofiev never came to see you dance or did he? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Uh, but Yulia Nidovna, his wife, she was coming. And unfortunately I couldn't come to work as, as you with him when I was in company. Yeah. Because it would be great and still now I'm asking myself like what would he say or you know like i i have some question i would love to ask him like uh, how to do that and what do you think about this you know like because that time uh in school i did we did some variation but it's different when you're in the company and you do full length performance and i would love to talk to him you know school were producing the ballets or is just class um, do you do the, some concert? The uh, numbers? Yes, we had like uh, matinee. We had, um, I think, uh, twice a year. Yeah. I guess yeah. And uh, we were dancing in uh, München uh, State Ballet on it. stage. Yeah. And uh, we had actually we had really nice uh, choice of the ballet. We did uh, Suit and Wa Suit and Bang. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we did uh, Who Cares. We did, uh, and then also variations, and it was actually really nice uh, repertoire. Okay. It was very interesting. Yeah, why well, I'm as well asking Moscow mm -hmm. Academy, they will put the ballet, the full length ballet, mm -hmm. and sometimes in other programs as well, mm -hmm. like short pieces. Mm -hmm. And uh, for us, for those who were in the last year, to be involved in, uh, in that full length ballet, mm -hmm. It's uh, some kind of the, it's one of the achievements. Yeah. And I remember when, uh, and that's why I, I'm saying it's so many, it's lucky to have that kind of teacher who's actually as well looking after you, mm. not just uh, not as a dancer, but as well a, a kind of giving chances kind of in the career. If you do that, mm. you might get further. Mm -hmm. So there was a Copelia, we were doing Copelia and uh, uh, first cast was uh, Derevyanko, Vladimir mm -hmm. Derevyanko. Mm -hmm. uh, second cast was uh, Alexei Fadeychev. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And the Prokofiev insisted, he said to me, he insisted with the Golovkina that he will put me into mm -hmm. just to cover. And it was very lucky because Fadeychev went out with his knee. Mm -hmm. So I was immediately already Perfect. the second cast. Yeah. Perfect. So, and I think as, as well, again, we're talking about lucky and to finish the school ac academy mm -hmm. being a principal dancer of academy mm -hmm. that's something else that's what i'm talking about mm -hmm. that's where is uh, you know when you do the short numbers yeah. it's everybody but yeah. when you actually leading dancer yeah. in the ballet it gives you in other wings yeah definitely uh, give you stronger wings yeah absolutely rather than just being uh... <laughs> i remember when i first time danced pas de trois variation from swan lake yeah <laughs> that was a really scary moment and uh, we had, the, I don't know if it's a school, you do have the special visitors, important visitors in Munich school? Did you use that some kind of evenings where, or show, short show where for the important guests? Mm, no. Because we, Academy, Moscow Academy, mm -hmm. had to, the, the, Wife of Brezhnev came. Oh wow! Because of uh, wife of Nixon came. Okay. So we did immediately. The school is presenting the show. So I was doing the one of them doing Padetrua solo. I was thinking, <laughs> my God, it's really disaster. This disaster. You cannot go there. You cannot do. And but then at the end, of course, it's like uh, you know. That's why when he came to see me doing Carnival in Venice, I thought yeah. I'm the best. You know. <laughs> I'm finishing school as a etoile. And then you go to in the company and thinking it's all there, but it's not. <laughs> I still think sometimes uh, I'm not yet achieved. That's, I don't know. Your time, you're still young. My time, I'm already not young. So, but I never said to myself yet, I stopped dancing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought I thought 
If I will say to myself, stop dancing, that's it, I achieved everything. Mm. But I think I'm not achieved it. Yeah, never lots do. of things. Yeah. yeah. So I'm still learning. I'm still, and uh, okay, situation gives me that I'm become now ballet master, I become a teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning that. Mm -hmm. But uh, for example, like you watched yesterday, mm -hmm. we're doing, we're doing uh, Roland Petit evening. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish I could do the Carmen. I wish mm -hmm. I could do mm -hmm. Genome d'Amour. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's really incredible ballets, and uh, I, I was uh, again. I wish I would be young, and I wish I can, you know, do this and uh, remember everything what uh, been said in the classes. And of course, I'm not saying that uh, we had only Prokofiev, yes, mm -hmm. but Prokofiev gave us such a incredible base mm -hmm. of understanding ourselves. So I met in my life so many teachers, Definitely. I'm sure you do this well. Absolutely. And, uh, and it's again lucky. Mm -hmm. Lucky we had the Prokofiev, lucky we had the other teachers who gave us the understanding even more. But that base and uh, what Prokofiev gave it to us, it gave us uh, that incredible the step on what we are standing on. That's yeah. right, that's right. It was exactly what I needed. Yeah was uh, really and he teach me also like he, he he gave me always some advices you know like uh, he he could feel us everyone you know like he could feel like if something goes wrong with you you know so he's like so boys how are you doing today he's like uh-huh okay sometimes sometimes he was like okay guys so we're starting to work now be concentrated something doesn't work and he's like uh, you're trying, you're trying, it doesn't work, and then he's like, okay, okay, maybe just leave it for today, you know? Like, because he could feel like it's, you know, something is not there. Oh, it was also once, it was very funny, because we had like summer, uh, not summer, winter vacation, and everybody were gone from the school, from internet. Yeah. And, mentioned. and we were three guys staying there. And it was winter, it was very cold, it was dark, and we had to prepare for the competition uh, uh, first to Berlin, Tansolim, then Lausanne, and then Moscow. I see, okay. Mm -hmm. And then everybody left, we were three boys, and we were supposed to go and work with uh, Alexander Prokofiev, and then it was late in the evening, it was so dark, it was like around five or six, and uh, we were supposed to go there, and it was cold, and. We didn't want, want to work somehow, and then, then the guys, he said, like, one of the guys, they said like, oh, I, I don't feel good, and I'm not, can you tell to Prokofiev that I'm not coming, I feel bad. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And then another one, oh, something is, today is, doesn't, and I'm like, guys, guys, come on. And, and so they didn't, they didn't come, and I was alone. So I was like, no, and I came, was, and, Alexander Prokofiev comes inside like always so like you know like when he walks he's like already like so sure in himself you know yeah. and he's coming like so Dennis how are you feeling and I'm like yeah you know he's like yeah don't worry we will we will not do much it just really just easy just to be just are you warm and I'm like not really so just let's start very slow just a bit we do just a bit of bar and that's it we're done and then I realized I'm sweating, I'm jumping, I'm doing everything. So, you know, like he was like letting me do it by myself. Not yes, that's yes. like do this, do this, do that. So I, I realized after like I'm, I'm not anymore tired. It's, <laughs> it's not too cold, <laughs> you know, and everything. But his sarcastic jokes <laughs> it made uh, us uh, really, um, really kind of squeeze inside and still remember that makes us really thinking you want you to say such a bad things to as an answer mm. but you taking this inside you closing inside <laughs> and saying yeah I'll do it even better you to show you <laughs> and uh, we had the we uh, but all others in the class everybody's yeah. laughing he's joking at you <laughs> but everybody's laughing <laughs> Knowing sure. that, you know, it's, it's your <laughs> fault or something. So I remember we were all laughing where we had one uh, boy in the class. He laughed, uh, well, actually two boys in the class. They laughed uh, knitting and uh, he was joking. We, we were laughing our heads off and he said, you know what? You know, when you finish school, you will join some company 
or you will go to your hometown mm -hmm. and you will uh, need us uh, for us a carpet. <laughs> we put it on the wall of the school and we say, this boy studied eight years in uh, our school and look what he's done. I mean, we were absolutely <laughs> laughing, but I can feel what this boy now, I yes. mean, now, before, of course, yeah. I felt like I'm sure he was completely, was completely done. <laughs> yeah. This is example of, you know, studying eight years, not to be a ballet dancer, but to, to do the carpet. It's, it's really strange. I don't know. And it's uh, really, uh, that kind of jokes makes, mm -hmm. makes really squeeze you and then... Eventually, if you really build your character, you actually getting yeah. out of it. Yeah, true. And he could take it out, pull out from yeah. you. Yeah, exactly. And that's uh, true. I do not remember. Uh, that's what. That's that's me. Um, I eat it. Everything what Prokofiev was saying, I eat it immediately. I swallowed it mm -hmm. and try to to build. I mean, inside already angry, but I swallowed it. Forget it, and I. <laughs> become a tartar myself. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and that's it. I think that's where sometimes I'm surprised how people, uh, some, for example, that's again back to Renat Gizatulin, mm. uh, he would remember all the phrases. Uh, uh, sometimes he would say that. I'm laughing my head off again. But I do not remember that uh, at all in the class. He would say that. I remember once he, he said, like, um, uh, some people asking him, like, oh, Prokofiev, you're, you're a great teacher, we know him. And um, how do you work with the kids? What do you do? Like, uh, and he's like, yeah, very easy. I'm doing from very bad students, bad students. <laughs> so that he was saying, like, I remember that. And it's like, actually, it's, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> but he was... Yeah, exactly. I think it's a, so many uh, great dancers are, and stars are in around the world yeah. uh, who studied with Prokofiev. Yeah. It's true. It's true. I don't know if he had this rule in your class. If uh, you're not doing his corrections once, twice, he throw you out of the class. Uh, no, no, we, we didn't have yeah. that. Well, but had. without throwing us out, he could say a few words, and then it was better if he would throw us out, you know. <laughs> because it's a it's a West, because in Russia mm. it's a slightly yeah, it's different. different yeah. yeah. So I think uh, he would throw he throw me a couple times uh, out of the class, and then you actually feel really I mean re that's really bad. Yeah, that's really bad <laughs> to be out of the class and missing all that. So you actually feel so sorry for yourself. Uh, yeah. It happened to me once. Yeah. It threw me out. I don't remember why, but it was only once. Hmm. It was okay, but after it was... But you see, that's where I think it's a past... I, I think past time in the ballet world, I think it was uh, tougher. No, how to say, not difficult, but it's... A harder. Harder. It's mm -hmm. a harder to survive. It's okay. harder to... It's, not only Prokofiev, mm -hmm. there's uh, other teachers at school who made uh, harder difficulty in the mm -hmm. class to make sure the dancers are progressed. Before it said, don't like it, out. Mm -hmm. You cannot say that anymore. Mm. Even though sometimes, uh, even privately you teaching, mm -hmm. you still cannot do that. Yeah. Even though privately it's a different conversation, mm -hmm. still cannot do that. Mm. I think that's what it's missing. Sometimes the dancers are taking this as a hobby. If it's not quite works out, mm -hmm. because there is no, don't you say, the willpower, mm -hmm. I'll make sure um, it's done. Mm -hmm. If it's not working, well, I'll try something else. Mm -hmm. I think that's what uh, sometimes it's only the greatest talents would survive. You. How you would say you describe yourself? Are you got everything to be a ballet dancer, or you were missing something in your talent, in your abilities, in your uh, whatever possibilities? Do you I, think? I never thought about it. You know, like I just liked it, and I, somehow I had this information that I need to do that, and I and I wanted to to do my best every time. That's yeah. it. I never thought about something. Mm. Of course, it was like. Uh, uh, not not all not everything perfect far away not perfect yeah but 
but I loved it and I had fun every time, you know, like, I don't know, it, even if it hurts after the training or whatever, like you cannot walk, but somehow I like it, you know, it's, it's part of it and then... Yeah, I, I would say I I'm, I'm wasn't, uh, if you compare, like I said uh, in the class, the best dancers standing in the middle of the bar, I would say uh, I was missing something, that, that dancer, Igor Terentiev, mm -hmm. you yeah, heard yeah, it? Yes. Igor Terentiev? He was right from beginning, from the first class we joined, we were together, mm -hmm. we were friends. Mm -hmm. the, from the first year mm -hmm. we were together, he was immediately in the middle. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's got had it all, the legs, the point, turnout, mm -hmm. everything. I didn't have the turnout, I didn't have the legs. Uh, he was like this, I was like this. So I, I always felt that I'm not uh, good enough. And that's what uh, built me even more. Mm -hmm. Not only just uh, say at the end Prokofiev who pushed us down, mm -hmm. but inside me as well, I was uh, building myself as well. I wanted to be better. Mm -hmm. I want to be better than my friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That kind of uh, thing. Yeah. So that's why I'm asking. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's again lucky to have uh, for Prokofiev as well, to have that kind of talents to work with, yes. that kind of respond, not just, okay, yes, we're lucky we have a Prokofi, but as well, at the same time, we wanted to be that too, yes, we yes, wanted to sure. be better than we are, Sure, and that's how you said it, and that's what I felt all the time, Yes, yes that's yes. why it's inside me, I never said I'm, uh, I'm uh, the, on top of the world, mm -hmm. even though maybe I was, but uh, I never said it to myself because I wanted to always achieve even more. Yeah, definitely. And I'm sure you do that as well. There is n Each never performance ending. you're doing, trying to make it better. Of course. Each performance you're trying to make it, it's different. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, absolutely, so. absolutely. Yeah, no, there is a never ending process, yeah, you know. Exactly. I think once you think like this, it's over. Yeah, and I think that's what Prokofiev as well taught us, that uh, when you climbing mountain, that's already my expression, mm -hmm. but maybe he used a completely different words. Mm -hmm. When you climbing mountain, you're going to the peak. Yes, mm -hmm. you climbing, you climbing, you reach the peak. Mm -hmm. What's next to go? Mm -hmm. Down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, it's, so I rather say to myself, I never reached that peak. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. instead of going down, I'm still climbing. I'm going. That's oh my God! Yes, look, I'm still there trying. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I think that's what uh, it's, uh, the characters uh, being built by Prokofiev or other teachers. Uh, I think that's that's the attitude mm -hmm. rather than it's easy so give up. Yeah, yes, it's yes, so yes, easy. Yes. It's just like ah, I don't, it doesn't work that's anymore. It, yeah. And uh, I sometimes uh, don't have awards for those people. I don't know how to help mm -hmm. because you cannot say adult dancer to say look that's you know. Yeah. Don't talk like this. Yeah. 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 I don't have that kind of philosophy to tell dancer, no, it's this. <laughs> don't want it, don't eat it. Yeah. Yeah. It's your choice. That's it. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes dancers, uh, they say, we were very tired and uh, it's, we're doing so many. I said, well, it comes with the salary. Yeah. <laughs> it comes with the your career. It comes with what you want to achieve. Yes. So that's kind of a... I think Russian education and those who came from Russia to teach in the West, they actually have something else to say. They have uh, some other basis which they can teach you how to get over it, mm -hmm. how to become better rather than just do, just achieve. Yes, yes, Not yes. to achieve, achieve today, but come back to more, achieve even more. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm saying too. That's what Prokofiev was telling us. Mm -hmm. You cannot just come back and start again from yeah. the beginning. You have to know what you've just done yesterday. Yes. yes. Come back and build it more. That's it. Yeah. To go further, right? Yeah, exactly. So to not stay in the place. Well, I think we we have to thank thanks Prokofiev, yes. I Absolutely. Think I would say the Prokofiev was the, the not not the breath of fresh breath, but it's something uh, really 
uh, knocked us down, he built us up, he pushed us down, he lifted us up. Yes, it's yes, it's yes. never it's never just oh my god, where well, it's a god Prokofiev. No, he's uh, he was with us. Yes, absolutely. And you I realize every day more and more yeah. how important he was. Yeah, exactly. you know, yeah. it was um, like sometimes I. I, it was enough, like really, sometimes it was too much what he was mm. saying and sometimes it was like really, I, you know, or some words like which were really going like straight to the point and after you're like, you destroyed and you don't know like why and what happened, you know, but uh, I understand now more and more why he did that, mm. you know, and it all makes sense to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I remember once uh, he was so angry on me. We, we, we had a performance and I had a variation of Bayer there. Oh, yeah, okay. And I did a Grandpa Classic variation and uh, Bayer there solo. And somehow I had costume from Grandpa Classic and I had like arms that, that big and um, all curtains and uh, background was black. And my costume was white. So I did in Grandpa Classic, I did by the variation. Yeah, okay. But okay. just rehearsal. And, and I was doing Coupe Jeté, Cazot, Manège. And I, he, I haven't seen behind the, the background. So I got with my leg the, this curtain and I, I went, I fell down like this on, on stage, but it was only rehearsal. So after I went out, I realized, I continued, I finished it. I couldn't see because I was doing, arms were flying. It was that big, so I couldn't see anything. And then I felt, okay, what could I do? Yeah, it's done, it's finished. And then uh, performance is done. I'm going up and I see uh, Yulia Nidovna, the wife of Prokofiev, she's staying and looking at me like, <laughs> it's like, and I saw him and he's sitting like this. I'm coming from that side and he's just sitting like so angry. And I'm like, oh my God, what he will, he will kill me right now. And he was so angry. He was like, how could you do something like that? That was not possible. I couldn't even say like, I mean, it was accident. I, I, yeah. I couldn't see it was not the costume for that, you know, and okay, it happened. But it was, I, I got it. I got it <laughs> never again. <laughs> Comes with experience. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Teachers are very, very important. Ah, uh, definitely, I'm sure. And what I like also, it's uh, like um, people working like on some ballet, like for example in Moscow, they're taking like three months and they prepare the role like so, like everything, like every finger, everything, yeah, like, exactly. like so precise and the, the, the acting and um, the character, the, the role. And which I find it's great. Once you work on somebody like that, it stays, you know, this is proper work and will stay inside you. You know exactly yeah. what's going about in every port de bra, everything. So that is missing somehow a bit, you know, like yeah, least, yeah. now, now it's more like, uh, okay, we have ballet, we prepare it fast, tak, 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 tak. Uh, we learn the, the, the steps, you know, like, and we run it and more or less that this is it, you know. Mm. And this is, was different. Yeah, it's a, it's a, that's the, yeah, the luxury of uh, being individually taught and prepared. Mm. There is a, yeah, when you have a teacher who's actually looking, or professor or mm -hmm. coach, mm -hmm. looking only after you. Yes. Uh, of course, it's different. Of course. Uh, attention and different pressure, different uh, learning process. But when it's uh, so many, mm -hmm. it's difficult. The dancers are confused, yes? Mm -hmm. yeah. You have one Prokofiev who's telling you all the time, go beat you over the, <laughs> up to the wall. <laughs> and then you understand exactly what it's actually need to be done. But uh, when uh, one is beat you up to the wall and then another one telling you, oh, you're very good, uh, all good, leave it. So then it's become confusion, yes? Why is that? Uh, so is it good or bad? <laughs> <laughs> it's good or bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's very difficult. It's difficult. I have to say it's difficult. Sure. What I find really important and, and correct 
like uh, what what he could do Prokofiev he was like having us like um, he was making it kind of uh, like a family everything you mm -hmm. know and he was also saying like um, to our boys class men class he said like guys right now when you're in school you're all the same you know and this is your the, the best time like and you are this is your friends you know so you will be like in in future in life you will be good friends now is the time you know and he was al always like um, it was very important the connection between teacher and students you know mm -hmm. he was like always uh, going with us somewhere you know like inviting to his place and um, we were going to, to to swim together like with okay. the class of boys you know it was very important for him like he was also studying from us something you know he was so um, he was how to say he was so curious about everything and he was like asking what do you think about that what do you think he, he was it was important our mm. opinion for him you know and it was it just I don't know he he created uh, kind of this communication you know and also like we today we met you know this I find it so great <laughs> and no really and uh, each time I speak to to his student like from different generation and it's the same feeling you know like it's uh, I don't know I'm very proud that I'm his student you know yeah, exactly. and you? no <laughs> and for me it's big honor like to to sit like to speak with you like that or or if I meet with someone, we, we have this somehow this the same feeling. We have same memories like uh, with our teacher. So I find it great. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's nice to remember. Mm. And it's it is in our hearts and it's in our mind. It's always there. Yes. Definitely. Uh, actually, Yulia Nidna, Anna, uh, she is organizing the book. Did she ever find? Did she find you? Yes, we we spent like. Oh, okay. A few weeks, like two weeks, definitely. We were talking like every day, like three hours. Okay, all right. So he he, the, he left uh, his copy books, some notes, what he did, and and after she was asking, what did he meant with this uh, phrase, or what does it mean, you know? And we were like uh, discussing how and what he said and how it should work. For example, like methodic of um, doing some jump or Sodebask or Revoltat or, or um, because Yulianina she didn't know like uh, what and how and exactly. yeah. so and we, we spent some time like um, explaining like part by part how it works and everything yeah well me too I'm um, just mm. done kind of again through Skype interview mm -hmm. to put the memories together about Prokofiev do you remember you called him San Sandwich or you call him Alexander Alexandrovich Alexander Alexandrovich <laughs> Somehow. We we call uh, between us we call him Sanich. We also yeah. <laughs> absolutely yeah. But I was always like uh, struggling to say Alexander Alexandrovich. You know, yeah, it was yeah. but I couldn't say San Sanich. It was a yeah. bit. Yeah, okay. okay, well, it oh, was great. Uh, yes. Great to remember. All Definitely. That. Well, it's great to see you too. Thank you. Pleasure for me. I'm wishing you all the best. Huh? Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No, no. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a, yeah, I think uh, it was great to remember.